So today we're gonna to be talking about airsoft guns. Uh, in the past, we've actually mentioned that we've been using airsoft guns for videos for a long time, but only recently have we actually started playing. For airsoft games, actually, I use a gas gun. It's a gas submachine gun. Unlike electric guns, gas guns have like an instant response. Basically, when you pull the trigger, it's all like just pressure, so it just instantly starts firing. an electric gun, you have to we, we have, you essentially have to wait for the little electric motor to wind up, and so you get small delays when you start firing your weapon. Yeah, so as you see here, these are the guns that we actually use for most of our games. These are like my two guns. This is Sam's, this is Jake's. Yeah, actually, of all the guns we have, very few of them actually, like, work, because we kind of mess them up when we make videos, so <laughs> we have, like, a couple special ones that still work. Just about 10 minutes away from us is Evite, which is the nation's biggest airsoft retailer, so we cruise down there, we know the guys, and they help us out with uh, our props and costumes for our videos, but also our actual personal airsoft guns. These guys are having all the fun running around with their sweet, lightweight, single-handed submachine guns, like being the action stars while I'm hanging back, just like plinking at guys from a window. So I decided it's time for me to go and build the craziest close quarters submachine gun I possibly could. Hey fellas, hey, we recording? The thing is, you know, we do a lot of action pieces. And playing airsoft has actually made us notably better at directing gunfights, telling the actors how to move, or when we're in it ourselves, how we move. You get all these little nuances of like how you pose and how you aim and like what's dynamic with your movements. And it's the equivalent of like if you're doing a martial arts scene, it looks way better if you hire somebody who actually knows how to fight. Even if the martial arts scene is ridiculous and has, you know, no grounding in reality. Still getting somebody that knows how to throw a punch and can at least inform some of their decisions with that makes it that much better. And it's the same thing with Airsoft. We're not soldiers, neither Sam nor I have ever served in the military, so we're not gonna, you know, ever pretend to be of that level. But if we want to have any hope at like trying to have sweet tactics in our stuff, you know, the next best thing we can get to is to incorporate some of the Airsoft. So, where are you gonna need a pirate ship? We're working on that. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here at Evike with Matt. How's it going? You might recognize Matt from all the various e-bike videos, reviews, and other fun things you guys have done. Anyways, let's, uh, should we head inside? Yeah, let's Sweet. do it. I'm excited. So this place is like the real life white matrix room where like all the weapons load in. That's kind of what we were going for with the gun wall. We wanted you to feel like it had just like rushed past you and you had this huge <laughs> selection of things. Um, and we've got just about every gun that we retail on the wall. We even have vending machines for BBs. <laughs> oh wow. Basically everything you need for an action movie. Yeah. In building this gun, we're going to use something called a Polar Star, which is a rather fancy airsoft system that's going to make for an incredibly high-powered gun. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about like what's going to make this gun special compared to like just a regular airsoft gun? Sure. Okay. Uh, there are two systems for powering uh, traditional airsoft guns. You have a gas system. The gas system holds gas in the magazine, um, and you're limited by you know the volume of the magazine for the amount of gas, and you're also limited speed-wise. Uh, by how quickly the piston system inside can cycle to allow you know uh, rate of fire. Now, electrics work a little bit different. Instead of using um, gas to move the entire system, you use the battery, a set of gears, and a piston. Again, you're limited by the size of your magazine, the, char the charge of your battery, and how quickly the gears and piston can cycle. In theory, the Polar Star system uses the best of both worlds. The system itself is actually powered by an electronic solenoid, two solenoids, um, and a high-pressure air tank. That gives you uh, an almost limitless supply of air, depending on the size of your tank uh, and of course because you're using standard electric magazines you know you can hold as many rounds as that magazine can hold so do you think we can make a one-handed gun that's basically shooting a laser beam of plastic BBs oh yes very much so well that's the idea <laughs> yeah so I mean all that's left to do is to uh, to get started building it. sweet let's do it Here we are so far. It's looking pretty sweet. It's gonna be incredible. Did you shoot first, Nika? Always. <laughs>
pretty crazy. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, so we're about to step into the test firing range to test out the, uh, I don't know, I'll come up with a name for it later. Now I'll call it the laser beam. Um, so we're gonna go test out the laser beam. Uh, I think I'm gonna get, make a lot of people angry at me when I shoot them way too many times to get to serve. I just like, why did you shoot me like 50 times? I'll be like, sorry. Uh, I, w I won't do that this time. <laughs> so we're wired up to a scuba tank, testing this out for the first time. Got a mid cap mate here, so I can feed better. Full auto. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut the head off this cardboard target. We'll see if it happens. Here we go, ready? Gotta reload. Sweet. It was literally off. That's so crazy. I'm gonna draw my name on the other one. And then, I. That's okay. There's a no. <laughs> it's like a water gun, but the water's made out of plastic pellets. All right. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oops. Just keep the threads clean. Can't do. That's it. Thanks. No problem. No problem. Really I'll walk you guys out. So. <laughs> They're pushing. Ha <laughs> ha!